All right. Good morning. This is William from Williams, Philippines. And today is uh, Wednesday, May 8th, 2024. Yeah, it's about 12.30, so it's just barely getting this done. Uh, yeah, I came in and boss was here again. Apparently the uh, night shift girl, the evening shift girl, is sick. Life happens. Hope she gets okay. You know, hope she gets better soon. Cause well, don't get me wrong. I like my boss, but I'm not used to seeing him three days in a row. Okay. And yeah, <laughs> needless to say, uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's a good thing though. Anyway, uh, yeah. For everybody else, this is my Friday. It's a payday Friday, so yay. And I'm going to try to get a few things done. I didn't get very productive last weekend, so I'm going to try to be more productive this weekend. It is what it is. We'll see. Anyway, trying to tap my other computer there. Got to keep it woke up so I don't have to type again. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah. This weekend wasn't very productive for me, so it's a write-off. Sometimes you just got to get some sleep, which is a good thing. We always need more sleep. Uh, I wish I could walk up and put a pair of jumper cables on a two-year-old and drain their energy into me and yeah that would be a good thing hey we can instantly make the baby go to sleep and give us old farts a bit of energy that we need i'm thinking it works for me i'm not too sure how the baby will like it but you know whole nother issue <laughs> uh, anyway boy. yeah Going to swing by and do some grocery shopping in the morning on the way home. And pick up the fixings for a uh, pot roast that I pulled out of my chest freezer. And make it for, you know, tomorrow for, uh, uh, or today for the rest of the weekend. It's been thawing now in the refrigerator for... 12 hours, 16 hours, somewhere close to there. So it should be thawed out by tomorrow morning. If not, well, I'll try to pull it out and let it finish thawing outside the fridge and then go from there. Uh, I don't know about you, but I actually kind of like pot roast and I'm going to try to do it in the air fryer. I don't know. Has anybody ever tried to do a pot roast in an air fryer? How does it work? I don't know. So I'm going to try to give it a go. Ugh. Mm. I think my back still, or my neck is still giving me issues. Apparently, my back doesn't like sleeping in chairs. And the older I get, the less... Uh, enjoyable it becomes. I take a lot longer now to heal than I used to. Stop doing stupid stuff and realize that, hey, it all comes due with interest. Young folks, seriously, old part talking, you might want to pay attention, take care of your body, and not do a bunch of stupid stuff. And believe me, I've had my share of stupid stuff. Sometimes you survive it. I'm proof. Uh, but yeah, uh, take care of your bodies while you're young. You're going to need them when you get old. And yeah, scary thought is, is, you know, I'm 61. 
I'm feeling this way now at 61. I'm hoping to improve how I feel and get things working better so that I can uh, live longer and enjoy life. If I actually manage to make it past 68 and make that run all the way to not being the youngster on my mom's side, which is like 85, yeah. I'm wondering what kind of condition I'm going to be in then. And, yeah, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm Boomer, but I'm the tail end of Boomer. And, yeah, the time I have possibly to live could easily be to 85. And I don't know about you, but uh, that's going to be painful. I'll be okay with doing it because, well, I've never been bashful about living. Uh, it would be better to live without extra pain, though. So please, take care of yourselves. Take it from somebody who didn't. Yeah, when I was, you know, youngster, you know, it was, I'd never lived to be 30, and, oh yeah, don't trust anybody over 30. And then we grew up, and I became 30. Oh, crud, I can't trust myself anymore. But yeah, figured I'd be long gone before I got to 60. Here I am at 61, and I'm like, well... I might actually make 68 and be the old man on my dad's side. I'm okay with that. Uh, I would prefer to, you know, get to the point of not being the young man on my mom's side. But I got all this sore spots running around with me. Um, so really, seriously... Take better care of yourselves, you youngsters. Because y'all might actually live longer than, you know, the Gen Xers do. The Boomers do. And, uh, have you seen the condition of some of these Gen Xers? Oh my gosh. <laughs> a generation that has a life expectancy of what? 85, 90, they really don't know because they're really not dying off right yet early other than, well, a bunch of them did have a problem of being, yeah, stupid on stupid street and went out and played rough and, yeah, I guess uh, I'm partially to blame for them. I mean, I, I'm just, you know, I was just a kid barely when they were starting. So I'm kind of more like them in some ways, but still but baby boomer. Uh, but I went out and played rough too. I learned my lesson though. And I got spots and pings, pulls, pops. Uh, there's pain in there. That's okay. I'll live through it. Uh, but here I am, you know, hoping to make it to 68 and, you know, really, you know, pretty sure I'm going to make 68. I'd love that. Like I say, it'd be a good thing for me. But then again, I really do want to take, you know, I'm really, really hoping for make it to 85. Uh, I wouldn't even know where to begin on that one. You know, <laughs> yeah, but I'm planning on being in the Philippines and going fishing and doing a lot more walking around. That's why I'm actually trying to do more exercise now. Uh, you know, try to work my body back into better shape. I'm feeling better. You know, it's it's. I've lost, well, I got up to 260, I'm down to 210, 
actually I got down to 198 and I'm back up to 210 and I'm trying to get back down uh, to two well actually I like to get to 180 so I need 30 pounds to go bye bye and I'm okay with that uh, if I can lose a little more than that doctor would probably be happy about it but last time I was that light I felt like the wind was blowing me away of course that might be because I'm in the Texas Panhandle and you know we don't consider anything under 20 to be anything more than a you know hush of a breeze you know a little light tickling of the air I have to get used to that, you know. They're, they're, the rest of the world thinks 20 mile an hour wind is what they call it. We call it a hush of a breeze. Is windy. <laughs> D-A-Y something ending in? Yeah. Just saying. It's, uh... Yeah. I've seen my share of it, and... When you regularly have days that break 45 for, you know, gusts. And I've seen days quite often that stayed sustained winds above 45. On the coast, they call that tropical depression storm winds. We call it another day that ends with D-A-Y. So, yeah. Uh, <sighs> and they got hurricanes or, well... Typhoons over there in the Philippines, which you know, 75 mile an hour sustained winds is hurricane force one. I've had it, so we've had those here, I don't know, five, six times that I know of here in Panhandle, Texas. Sustained winds above 75. <sighs> yeah, we called that a very windy day up here, you know. Watch the trampoline go tumbling by. <laughs> I actually had a trash can full of aluminum pop cans crushed down in the backyard and had been saving them and was going to carry them over to get them recycled. We had one of those days come by. Well... I found the lid to my trash can about four blocks over in top of, well, three blocks over in the top of a tree. I never found the trash can and I did not see any of the little pop cans crushed down anywhere else. I never found them. You'd think they would have got stuck somewhere along the road as they were getting lifted off. But no, I found the lid in the top of a tree. Yeah. Now, how did it get up there? I don't know. Were we having dust devils? I don't know. Look up a dust devil. Uh, they can be real fun. <laughs> Mini tornadoes. But then again, it might have just been sheer straight line winds that just decided to pick it up and throw it. Well, however far, you know, three blocks heading toward four, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> but I never did find the trash can, and I never did find the cans. Like I say, the lid got stuck in a tree, you know, 20 foot up or something. Yeah. So, where did it go? I don't know. I hope somebody found the lid or the can and, you know, we're able to find the cans and recycle them. Uh, I hate seeing something that could be useful go to waste. Uh, yeah, after that, I started keeping anything I was going to recycle in the house. I actually have a trash can in the house for that. Uh yeah, now I just do them in little bags, and when I'm done with them, I carry them over and toss them in the back of my car, carry them to the recycler, and recycle them that way. Now that I got a little car, I can't throw them in the... The trash can doesn't fit in my car. 
So, yeah, I just... And the fact that I gave up drinking soda pops pretty much... You know, it's... On occasion, I'll have a can of soda, but... It takes me a couple months to th th go through a 12-pack. So, yeah. I just don't drink a lot of soda unless I've got rum to go with it. And even that, I'm trying to... Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Horrible hiccups here lately. Wondering why. But, uh, yeah. I, I try not to drink too much even. You know, it's I'm cutting back on even that. Trying to make my health better. Don't need to be beating myself down while I'm trying to dig myself, you know, bring myself up. So don't need to dig a hole. So, eh, I'm trying to cut back on even that consumption. Eh, get it down to twice a year, maybe. I don't know about you, but I really don't need it. And, well... A waste of money. I can find better things to do with my dollar. Philippines fund. <laughs> so yeah, somebody was uh, saying you need two thousand at least. Hey, I'm living on less than that here in America and living good and happy and enjoying life. I just don't get people having to throw money at things. Life it can be really inexpensive, uh, especially if you don't have large amounts of debt and you're not buying a new this, new that every five minutes. And no, I do not intend on buying a car in the Philippines. Uh, most I'm going to get is a trike. I saw one uh, Baja or something like that. I kind of liked it. And then I also see the that Carabao thing. Or the little uh, tuk-tuk pickup with the flatbed in the back with a dumpster on it. I kind of liked that one. I really did. I see the potential for those things. Uh, I like that one. And <clears throat> they're not that expensive. Why what I want to take and buy a big car and have all that money go to waste. I don't see the need for it. And, well, I'm really hating, you know, having this little Kia that I got. And because it's the one that everybody likes stealing, because Kia made it, oh, easy to steal... My insurance is a hundred and so what I think the new one is now down to a hundred and seventy five a month from one eighty eight. So woohoo, I'm saving thirteen dollars. And I'm happy about that. But I shouldn't be paying teenagers get better insurance rates on other cars than I get on this one. Teenage boys. I'm 60. I'm not supposed to have insurance this high. And it's all because of the car? Eh, no. I'm really not liking the insurance for this car. But I also know that I'm a disaster magnet, and the moment I don't have full coverage insurance, I'm going to get run over. And, yeah. Thank you, I'm not going to get run over and not have something to cover it. So, I maintain my insurance. Adulting! I might not like the impact on my wallet, but I would rather have the impact on my wallet from paying the payments on that than not paying the payments and having to deal with the damage out of my own pocket. Yeah, I don't like that idea, so, yeah. Needless to say, I'd be glad to sell that thing and get rid of it. And, yeah, 
trying to figure out when to do that. Part of me wants to do it right now and just go get something else that would be cheaper to insure. You know, go, go find me a little hoopty that, you know, rolls down the road because the tires are going like this, I'm bouncing like this. And yeah, I'm thinking that would be preferable. I don't know how my back would like it, but <sighs> yeah, because I really hate these insurance payments. You know, seventeen hundred dollars for ten months. Uh, yeah, I could buy a junk car for that price. And just deal with fixing it if I have to. If I can get one that just lasts for another year. I don't know. I would save that much on insurance. Yeah. Tell you it was a real shock when my insurance went and I bought that car. And it went up. And basically I went from $80 for full coverage insurance... To, yeah, actually it was a little less than 80 but $80 for full coverage insurance on my pickup truck to $188 a month on this Kia. Yeah, $110 went through the roof on me. Not happy. So, yeah. <laughs> and I've actually been thinking that it'd be better to get a cheaper old hoopty. Matter of fact, I might try to go look at one of those. Stop taking it off the thinking process and just go ahead and jump. <sighs> yeah. Although they're saying that the market's down right now and nobody's buying anything. Apparently they had a rush a year and a half ago when everybody started trying to get out of the ones they survived COVID with and get into something new so i don't know might need to check see what the value of my car is see if i can get a get something on it i don't know it is what it is anyway trying to stay straight backed and straight necked I'm doing these exercises and stretches and such, trying to build my strength up in my back. All these, you know, times that I've done stupid on stupid street. <sighs> yeah, car wrecks. No fun. I've had too many. Sadly, uh, I've I've survived all of them. You know, well, I'm glad I survived all of them. <laughs> But sadly, uh, yeah, beat the living crud out of my body. Between them and the motorcycles, I'm not happy about the number of wrecks I've had. Too many. But yeah, uh, might have to check in to get in the car, though. though different car. I really am not happy with the price on this. I'm wondering if I could find something cheaper with cheaper insurance on it. I don't know find one that's in good shape and just drive it for this you know it's not like I'm gonna be going that far you know I've got one year I usually average 6,000 miles a year so if it can survive 6,000 miles in a year at that point what I'm crying about it you know, if I get one and it costs me $2,000 and it lasts one year and I turn around and sell it for half that price, I'm out $1,000 for a car and, oh uh, yeah, the insurance payment is cheaper so I save. You know, I think, I, I think I'd come out on the end being good. I don't know. 
I really would have to do the math on it. And yeah. I don't know. We shall see. But it is what it is. Anyway. I've been rambling long enough today. <sighs> you know, I said these things were going to be 10, 15 minute. They've been averaging more like 15, 25, 20, 30. Okay. I'm a Texan. I like to talk. Uh, I'm not afraid to talk. I just don't like doing it with large numbers of people. Yeah. This is new stuff for me. Get me out of my comfort zone. Anyway. I am William from Williams, Philippines. I'm going to try to get a little more done this weekend than I did last weekend for sure. Anyway. Later blessings. Bye bye. I'm fishing. Well, fish is out. Bye.